Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to scratch the graph of trigonometric function. Okay, the first, we have a look on the sine graph. Okay, let's say y equal to sine angle. Okay, for this graph, what you're going to do is you scratch the shape like this. Okay, so here will be 1 and the minimum will be negative 1 and here is 180, 360 okay and then this one will be 90 degree you get 1 and 270 degree you get negative you get negative 1 okay normally from 0 to 360 this one we call it one cycle okay and and the maximum value is one and minimum values of uh, is, is negative one this one we call it amplitudes means from here to here this one we call it amplitudes okay so this one is also from the zero to negative one this one is also we call it amplitudes okay later I will explain what is amplitude and then what will change your equations for amplitudes okay so I explain one more time from 0 until 360 this one normally we call it one cycle and and the maximum value and minimum value for sine graph this one we call it amplitudes okay okay I let's explain what will change is okay the am amplitude here actually you have a 1 here you have a 1 here but normally we didn't write out the 1 we only write y equal to sine angle so let's say if I write y equal to 3 sine angle okay so have to remember actually this 3 here means the amplitude is increased from 1 to 3 okay so this will be the amplitudes therefore I trying to scratch the graph to show you okay so let's say okay so he will draw something like this you equal to sham shape okay but then the amplitudes here now change to 3 and the minimum will be negative 3 or so okay so here totally same with this graph is 180 360 with 0 90 and 270 therefore normally size 90 we will get 1 but then if y equal to 3 size angle size 90 we will get 3 and size 270 we will get negative 3 so remember when you see 3 size angle actually means the amplitudes increase from 1 to 3 okay okay let's say okay let's say okay let's say y equal to um, okay y equal to size 2 angle okay the 2 beside the angle will means that actually in one cycle you have to draw this two time okay mean actually two cycle will happen in one cycle okay I just trying to scratch out okay let's see here is 360 here's 180 okay normally y equal to size angle we will draw like this for one cycle okay y equal to size angle we will draw like this for one cycle but then he said y equal to size two angle means actually this one will happen one time here and second time here okay same things the maximum value for y is one minimum will be negative one okay but then do, do you see the difference y equal to sine two angle means actually you have you will have two cycle do you see you have one cycle here this is the first cycle 
and then you will have the second cycle here okay same thing from zero from zero to 360 but then you have two cycle because normally from zero to 360 you only have one cycle so here when you have two cycle will mean y equal to sine two angle okay okay let's say what happened if y equal to three sine two angle okay this one will seem i say okay this one is for amplitudes and the two here means how many cycle in 360 uh, from 0 to 360 so let's have a look okay so if you see the 3 here means the maximum amplitude from 1 you have to increase to 3 minimum will from 1 negative 1 increase to negative 3 so same thing if let's say this is 2 cycle so means you actually you have to draw one, one cycle here and a second cycle here okay this is negative 3 okay this will be 3 okay so here obviously this one is 90 degree this one is 270 okay this graph will mean okay this will be angle y equal to 3 sine 2 angle means actually your amplitude from 1 increase to 3 and then in 360 here you will have two cycle okay okay let's have a look if the graph have negative what will happen for the graph with negative okay let's see normally y equal to sine angle you have these shapes so what happen if y equal to negative sine angle okay okay we have a look on the negative graph let's say this is y this will be angle okay so normally sine angle will shape like this so when you see negative you just flip over everything so sine angle will equal to like this here will be 180 360 this one will be value 1 value negative 1 do you see the difference with negative and without negative okay so without negative this is a sine graph okay so with the negative okay the graph actually was was okay we'll start at zero and then when 90 degree he will go to negative one first and 270 he, he will go back to one okay this is the graph for negative okay okay so what happens is when you see this kind of symbol let's say okay let's say y equal to three sides two angle and then he add this symbol in front okay when you see this symbol means the graph will only have positive mean all the negative here you have to flip to positive okay so i draw one and show you let's say this one will be 180 360 okay let's say so he will happens in okay it will happen like almost like this and then go up and then go down and then go up okay this is exactly like that but then when you see two of this symbol all the shape in the negative side you have to move to positive all the sh shape in the negative one you have to move to positive okay so same thing when you see three here means the maximum value will be three the minimum value will be negative three okay this is for y this is for angle so means what means after that all the negative value you turn to positive all the negative value you turn to positive and and the negative this one you will get nothing 
So when you draw the graph, the graph is like that. This is called y equal to 3 sine 2 angle with this symbol. Okay, means you have to, have to cancel out this one. Okay, the graph is only like this. Okay, means always positive. Okay, so, okay, last, last about, okay, when you see plus and minus, let's say, okay, y equal to 2 sine angle minus 1. Okay, what is the meaning for minus 1 here? Okay, when you see minus 1, it actually means whole graph will move down one unit we'll move down one unit okay unless trying to draw this one for you okay first let's say okay this is maximum value because you see the two here means the amplitude will be two this one will be negative two okay this one will be 180 360 here will be y this one will be angle okay okay obviously this graph is okay the graph now is just y equal to two sine angle okay when negative one means the whole graph will move down one unit when move move down one unit means the maximum value for here will change to one and negative two here will change to negative three so so i trying to draw this one for you Okay, means it's something like this. Okay, this one is angle. This one will be Y. Okay, Y now in one. And this one will be negative one. And then here will be negative three, let's say. So negative one here. Okay, minus one means the whole thing will move down one unit. Move down one unit means they will be here. Okay, this will be 180, 360. So, do you see here? Actually, the amplitude for here is still two units. Amplitude for here from negative one to negative three is still two units. So, just the whole graph in this acid he moved down one unit mean negative one so this graph will mean y equal to two sine angle minus one so same thing when you see plus one just mean the whole graph will move up one unit is plus three means the whole graph will move up three three units this is the different plus and minus okay thank you